Well, hello, this is Joe Sango again. I'm the founder of I Was Broke, Now I'm Not, and I'm committed to help people accomplish far more than they ever thought possible with their personal finances. And I'm excited today to bring you the Monday money tip of saving money on home and auto insurance. Uh, most people have one or both of these. Uh, if you don't own your home and you rent an apartment, then you can substitute the word renters where it says home, renters and auto insurance. And we're going to show you how to save tons of money. In fact, you may not be excited about this topic, but it is one of the top ways that you can save money. You're going to be thanking me on this Monday on how much money you have saved. And so I just want to give you the tips on how to save the maximum amount of money while having great insurance. The first tip is get new quotes every two years. Every two years, make sure you get new quotes. Now, this is difficult for most people to remember to do because you don't wake up dreaming and sleeping and just saying, man, I love auto insurance and I love talking to insurance agents. Uh, and most of us spend most of our time trying to get away from insurance agents. But the deal is that I do this by setting a little tickler reminder in my calendar where I use a Google calendar and I set an appointment that says, get new insurance quotes. And you can set it to recur on whatever frequency you want. And I have mine set to recur every two years. And it's kind of a, a trigger so that I don't have to remember to do this. It will remind me, a pop-up reminder that says, go get new insurance quotes. And here's why. Uh, you may have noticed that every insurance company says, if you go with us, we'll save you four to $500 a year. Or 15 minutes or less could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Here's what I know. That is the truth. And it's probably by going to other insurance companies, getting new quotes, and getting quotes every two years. After a couple years, insurance companies start to crank up the rates. They offer you this brilliant, brilliant premium at the start to lure you in. And then they know that most of us don't sit around thinking about this. And so they start cranking the rates on us about a year in. That's why it's important to get new quotes every two years. Uh, the second tip that I would tell you is to bundle your insurance. Bundle your home with your auto. Uh, bundle your renters with your auto. If you have boat insurance or if you have a motorcycle or some other type of insurance, bundle them together. You will generally save up to 30% on each of those premiums by bundling it together. This is a huge way for you to save money. Uh, it might be tempting to go to one company for one insurance policy and one with another. That, we find, generally makes your insurance management more difficult and cost you more money. Uh, here's the deal. You need to get three quotes. You need to get three quotes. And I recommend you get two quotes from name brand companies and then go get one quote from an independent insurance company. Independent insurance companies can get quotes from five to nine to 14, 15 different companies. Some of them you may not have heard of, but they are fantastically highly rated companies that have great customer service. They just don't spend as much money on marketing uh, like other companies do. And as a result, they can offer you lower premiums for the same great insurance. Make sure you get two quotes from name brand companies, one quote from an independent insurance company. And here's the deal. As you go to get those quotes, don't tell them what you're paying right now. Like, do not do that. Because they will see that they could have saved you 50 bucks or 60 bucks a month, but they know what you're paying right now. So they'll offer you 30 bucks knowing that you would be happy with that. But you you were because you revealed what you're paying right now, you'll give up that type of savings, the, the rest of the savings. So make sure that you don't tell them what you're paying right now and say, I want a deal. I listened to Joe Sangle on this Monday Money Tip and I want to save some money. Here's another tip. Consider increasing your deductible. Consider increasing your deductible because if you have a $250 deductible, you may be paying a, versus a $500 deductible, you may be paying $300 a year extra in premiums to have a $250 less deductible. What I know in my insurance is when I increased my deductible, when I doubled it, I decreased my premium by almost half. In other words, I was able to increase my deductible and and that deductible may or may not happen, but the premium is guaranteed to happen. And by going more than a year uh, without a claim, I was able to win that gamble. I encourage you to check out what increasing your deductible could do for your premium. But here's the deal. You, you, you could call all these different insurance agents. You could keep all that in order. But one great thing that has happened is, just like when LendingTree came out and they said, when banks compete, you win. 
The same is true for insurance companies. So I recommend you get quotes online. In fact, I'll show you right now that there's a company that is called NetQuote that I really like where you can type in your zip code and you can type in all these different uh, uh, information. You can say, do I currently have insurance? You can click get quotes now and you can see these, these companies that they quote, you can put in your information and it will give you quotes from all these great companies immediately. Uh, when you do this, so get ready. You're going to get phone calls. You're going to get emails. Uh, and you're going to get tons of quotes. In fact, when I did this, in 15 minutes, I had 13 quotes uh, and, and a couple of phone calls. And, and Geico was right. 15 minutes or less saved me 15% or more on car insurance. Unfortunately for Geico, it was not with Geico. But I did save a ton of money on my insurance. I hope the same thing happens for you. Here's the deal. All of these tips are available at mondaymoneytip.com. And we want to be able to serve you. you. Point your friends to this. Point your family to this. We want to be able to serve you in your quest to save money and to live a fully funded life.